Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, What Error Makes a Safe Torah Pasul? Recently we gave a, sheer, a series of shirim, four shirim, on the lahot, what we should do when one finds a safe Torah that's possible while they're in the middle of laning. But another question is, what's the criteria for what makes a safe Torah possible? So one might think, you can't answer that question in two minutes of Torah. You may even need a few hours and go through each letter and see which part of each letter indispensable. True answer to a degree. There's some basic rules and some basic criteria that give us a lot of insight. So in Lamid Vav, in Orachayim, it says that a letter, Aleph is made up of several parts. You have a, 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 a Yud attached to the bar and then the bar going down. And each letter has its constitutions, its components. Those components and the main base of the letter, the center part of the letter, must all be connected. The second there is a line breaking apart any part of the letter right off your bat, you know it is a puzzle letter and a puzzle Sefer Torah. That's it. Or if a letter should be disconnected like a hay, we don't want the bar of the hay connected to the rest of the part of the hay. If it is connected, then that is puzzle. So those are two clear points from Sima Lamed Vav. If a letter, part of the letter is disconnected, that's a problem. The base, the essential part, a connected part, that if they're disconnected, it's a problem. And if a part that's supposed to be disconnected is connected, that's a problem. That's possible. So when do you bring a child in? So we bring a child in when we have a letter and there's nothing disconnected about it, but it's shortened. You have a long nun that somehow over the years lost its the yo, the ink, it's gone. So it's clearly a shorter nun. But wait, is it a shorter nun or is it a vav? There we bring in a child. And a child tells us, a child can read, but isn't looking for to figure out what the Allah is are just looking to honestly answer the question. We bring him in and we trust what he has to say. And he could say, yes, this does look like a nun. Well, this doesn't. We dafka ask a child not an adult because we're afraid the adult might read into the situation. Like, I don't want to make the people go back. I don't want to make people the key to take it on the Torah. Out. Well, you know, it really is important that we redo this. So there may be other factors involved in looking at the letter. It may not have come in so objective as opposed to a child's coming in pure. He just sees a letter and they ask me, what's the letter? And I tell them. So that's an overview of some of the halachot of Apostle Saifa Torah, of how to determine it, and basically if there's a connection supposed to be no connection, or, or there's no connection supposed to be a connection, or if the letter is shortened. So then, and only in the second case you bring in a katan to look and to see. It's shortened, but does it still look like the original nun? Or the bar going across the dalit is missing, does it still look like a dalit if it's an incomplete bar? Shall